Welcome back, it's easy. It's part 2 of our Attacks 101, part of the introduction to Clash of Clans. If you are a new player, this is the place to be. So, we're going to start off right away with a little spoiler alert. One of the most popular attacks that you're going to see, and you're going to hear people talk about it. You're going to hear, go wipe, go wipe, go wipe. It is the biggest attack that everyone learns that you should never try. And this is why. Go Wipe is made up of three troops. Gollum, Pekka, Wizard. Sounds like a good idea. At first, you're going to be able to progress and maybe even three star with it in Town Hall 8 a few times. And then you're going to get into Town Hall 9 and it's going to die out and you won't be able to do anything with it. So don't even try it. Don't even start with it. Get rid of that combination and go right to the Go Ho, which we explained in the last video. Now, in this video here, this is the Laloon. This is one of the premier attacks. Starts off in Town Hall 9. You need Town Hall 9 to get the Lava Hound. Uh, this right here is done by V. He is, he has perfected this attack. Um, this is not a drop and go attack. You have to stick with it the entire time. And you have to spawn these balloons all over the place. You have to um, use the spells right and everything. But to give you a basic breakdown of it, it is Lava Hounds that will tank for the balloons. Uh, the Lava Hounds, you'll, you'll drop them and you'll have them cross over large amounts of the base to draw everyone's uh, attention, everyone's fire. Then you'll, then you'll put in the balloons and you'll use spells like the Rage or Hay spell to speed them up and get them to go over there to the air defenses as quick as you can. And uh, there's a timing issue with these attacks as well. So the Lava Hound is a unique troop. It is actually, it has two phases. It has the first phase, which is the Lava Hound itself. But then once it loses all of its hit points, it will pop and you'll have this, the Lava Pups. Well, this is one of those odd situations where you actually want the Lava Hound to pop by the end of the attack because you need the Pups to help clean up. Uh, the, the, the second phase of this attack is called the, the Lalunian, and that's just adding min minions at the end to help the pups. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, and I, I mentioned this in the last video, I'm not really getting into the strategy on how to do all this because we want to put out guides to all of this stuff for the, you know, for the beginners out there. So we're not going to get into that, I just want to show you, show everyone these attacks. And uh, that way you'll, you'll be familiar with them once it comes your time to start making them. Uh, I've said this in the past and I'll say it again. This is not the game to try to invent your own attack. <laughs> Ironically that being said, we kind of did. But as a whole, if you don't see combinations out there already, it's because it doesn't work. I've, had a, I've heard that a lot. I've heard other great players, great YouTubers say this. If you haven't seen it out there, it doesn't work. Uh, we, we've, we've tried all kinds of different combinations. A new troop comes out and everyone's trying new combinations. That's, that's one thing when a new troop comes out. But if it's an established troop already and you don't see it out there, you see no one using it, you don't see any YouTube videos with those troops combined with each other, there's a reason for it. Uh, so, so try not to do that yourself. Just, just try to copy the attacks you've already seen. Try to perfect the attacks that are out there and kind of have them in your tool bag and then move on. Uh, once you've perfected what's already out there, and then you can make small adaptations to to these uh, mainstream type of attacks. Okay, so this was the La La Lunian. This is a Town Hall 10 versus a Town Hall 10. These air attacks are not easy to three-star Town Hall 10s. In the middle of Town Hall 10s, they have infernal towers. Infernal towers are difficult to get balloons on top of and take out. Now I know that there's elite players out there that do it. Uh, uh, you, this one here I did. It's, it's, it's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. A matter of fact, there's a lot of players that can do it. But starting out, you will see that it's not easy to three star. These Town Hall, even Town Hall 9. Uh, up until the last update, I didn't see many players really three star in Town Hall 9s with dragons, uh, for, for example. Now the the lava loon is is one that you can, but okay. Let's move on to the next attack. This is a newer, this is a newer attack because the, the baby dragons haven't been along for for haven't been around for too long. This is called the baby dragon loon. 
This is, uh, what's the best way to describe this attack? This is a unique attack because it can be used by lower town halls to, th to two star higher town halls in the clan war setting. I've seen in our clan, we have a lot of town hall 10s that will use this against the town hall 11s. And this is a great opportunity for your clan as, a t as the town hall 10s uh, can attack the 11s with, with the baby dragon room strategy. And, and two star these town hall 11s. And if your clan is able to do that, that really puts you in a, at a big advantage. Whenever you can have town hall 10s two star the town hall 11s, man, that's a big advantage because a lot of times the town hall 11s can't two star town hall 11s. That's how tough it is at the Town Hall 11 area. So with this attack, you'll use baby, drag baby dragons, balloons, and a lot of people actually will still bring two or three of the, of the regular larger dragons, and they will use the baby dragons to clear out all the trash buildings on the outside and just start to create a funnel. And once everything's cleared out and there's a dead path right there to the middle, They'll, use, they'll put two or three of the large dragons, uh, a handful of five or six balloons, and they'll send them to the core down that path that they've created by, fu by funneling. If, I, if you haven't heard that term funneling before, that is a huge term that we will get into in this series a little later on. So, Baby Dragaloon, another excellent attack. Uh, honestly, my, myself, I thought the Baby Dragons were not going to be the troop that they are. And then I started listening to some of the people I listen to. Uh, you may be, you may have people you listen to on YouTube. I, I do too. And the people I listen to were all loving on these on these baby dragons. And sure enough, if you practice with them, you are going to love them too. They are they are great troops, especially once you get them up to level three and four. So, next attack strategy. This one is one that we we stake claim to i know that there's a lot of people that have different versions of this this is called flex we had one person who's who's this is the replay his name is flex luger he uh he had someone attack him with a, a similar attack to this and he had worked on this attack and worked on it and worked at it and it kind of morphed into this attack here where he uses two different walks and again i'll if you don't know what that is, that's using healers behind a, a specific troop. He uses a queen walk, and, and she's on the top of the screen here. And then he uses a bowler walk on the bottom part of the screen here. And they'll, they're going to make their way around the outside of the walls. And then he puts giants, wizards, Valkyrie, and the king into the middle. And they just wreak havoc. And he can do this attack inside and out. This is, a, this is a, an automatic three star for him. I can't tell you, out of the last 100 attempts, he's probably 3 star with it 94 or 95 times. And for anyone who really, and that's a, that's a real statistic, for anyone who knows this game, they know how hard that really is. There's a lot of attacks out there, like the Laloon, for example, that you can be good at it and still mess it up. Because it takes so many adaptations in the middle of the attack in order to, to 3 star. This, this troop composition is built so well that once you can establish the attack for yourself and you know where to put everything to start off with you're just dropping spells from now on out and he three stars over and over he three stars in war with it he three stars everything with it so there's not a lot of the flexes uh there's not a lot of people out there that are promoting it this is in my opinion the number one town hall nine attack in the game it's a uh, one of those ironic things that it's not out there like i think it should be but just mark my words now, here it is, uh, the first of the year in 2017. You give this attack another six months to a year, and this is going to be in every single clan that plays in, in, the, in the clan wars. That's how good it is. That's a, that's a promise straight from easy. Now, the last attack that we have in this video is one of these, we call it the expert attack style. It's go va, go va lo wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Gavala Wee Wee. A little more fluent. Uh, there's a lot of different variations of this attack. This is a ground based and an air based attack. And I can't tell you how many times that I've screwed this attack up because I just don't have it down. Like I've I, I, I've seen guys that just that can blast any town hall with this. It's a it's a it's a town hall ten, a town hall eleven attack. 
it's it's made to use an assortment of different types of troops on a base and it's basically what you have to do is you have to scout a base you have to find the weaknesses within the base because there's a lot of bases that are strong overall but there's a pocket over here that's weak to the ground and there's a pocket over here that's weak to the air and this type of attack that has several different types of troops air troops ground troops you can utilize all those different types of troops in a multi-phase attack and it's it's overpowering if done well unfortunately there's a high high probability for failure for me at least still just because i'm not the expert user on this particular attack i spend so much time with others <clears throat> but i wanted to show this attack because it is one of the hybrid attacks out there that if you work on it it there is there's the sky's the limit so there's a lot of hybrid attacks out there like this one and if you take the time and you put in the miles on them you're going to be able to have these unique three star attacks that you can uh kind of kind of pull through for your clan when needed you'll notice uh over time that you're going to face clans that all the bases are very hard to beat and your regular goho or or laboon attack is is just not going to work they they're they're seasoned players and they know how to defend against them there's ways you can set up your base to defend against these types of attacks so then you break out an attack like this one that has so many different weapons in it and that's how you can still take down these elite bases uh, there's, there's there's several attacks like it we just wanted to go into this one uh, watch this one again if you if you're if you're interested so that's go by love we we that's a golem valkyrie balloons witch and wizard several different reasons why you use all the troops I'm not 100% sure that this is going to get its own video, but I may we may include this in with a bunch of other ones like it, just to get people uh, a, a little a little coverage, something out of the ordinary. So anyway, there have been some attacks we left out. There's one called the Go Wee Wee, but we didn't include that because it's a really hard attack still. Uh, there's some others that we left out as well, but I wanted to give everyone a good look at a broad scope of attacks that's available in the game there's a reason why that there's so many people that play at all different age levels uh, we have guys that just don't that want to just join the clan they're 13 years old and they're little kids and they do well and then there's guys that are 50 years old that want to master something that's difficult and that will continue to challenge them and that's what this game offers so that's what we want to do is promote the game for what it is and that's something that's going to challenge people up to the very end so Thank you for joining me. If you stay till the end, I appreciate that. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, it's been easy. See ya.